So welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm answering now a question from the Solomon D papers um, from the P4 or the C4 collection. And this question here is about um, differential equations. It's from my endotopic worksheet number six, integration two, the second integration worksheet. And it's question three from that worksheet, question four from the Solomon D paper. Okay, now, this question here is about a mathematician who is selling goods at a car boot sale. She believes that the rate at which she makes sales depends on the length of time since the start of the sale, which is T in hours, and the total value of sales she has made up to that time, which is X in pounds. She uses the model dx dt equals k times 5 minus t over x, where k is a constant, Given that after two hours she has made sales of 96 pounds in total, solve the differential equation and show that she made 72 pounds in the first hour of the sale. Okay, so first of all, we've got dx dt is equal to k times 5 minus t over x. Okay, so now we've got to solve this differential equation. Um, and we know that when t equals 2, x equals 96. We also know that when t equals 0, x equals 0, because when she has made no, uh, when, you know, uh, when she starts, by the time, at the time she starts, she hasn't made any sales. Okay, so we know these bits of information. Um, so we need to solve this differential equation. Now to solve a differential equation, what I'm going to do is I want to find what x is in terms of t, um, right, because uh, we want to, that's how we solve this equation, whatever is on the top here, dx dt, we're going to end up with x equals some function of t. So I'm going to integrate this side with respect to t. Okay, um, and I'll also integrate this side with respect to t. I'm going to just write the constant outside the integral sign, as we know we can do. So I'm going to integrate this side also with respect to t. If I, whatever I do to one side, I must do the same to the other side. So integrate this side with respect to t, I do the same to this. Now what happens here is these, t, these dt's cancel out. So I'm left with, on this side, the integral of dx equals, and on this side, k times the integral of 5 minus t over x dt. Now, what I have to do here is I have to separate the variables. This side now ends up as dx, and this ends up as dt. So all the t terms must be on the right side, and all the x terms must be on the left side. The x's with the dx's, the t's with the dt's. So what's going to happen here is this x is going to be now... If I multiply both sides by x, I'll have x dx. So integrate x with respect to x and integrate 5 minus t with respect to t. Now everything's in the right place. I can now proceed. But now I'm, what I'm going to do is to find the value of k. I need to find the value of k in order to write down the equation and then calculate what I need to calculate. What I can do is I can use these values I have here. I know that when x is 0 t is 0. And when x is 96, t is 2. As I mentioned here, after 2 hours, the cell is 96. So using those values as our limits, I'll be able to find what k is. Okay, I won't have to write plus c. I'll find what k is directly. So I have to first integrate both sides with respect to x. So I have x squared over 2, and this is 96 and 0. And here I have 5t minus t squared over 2, and there I'm going to have 2 and 0. So I substitute 96 in here, so I have 96 squared over 2 minus 0 equals k times, and I have 5 times 2 is 10 minus 4 over 2, which is 2. Okay, so I end up with basically 96 squared. I can say that um, k is going to be, this, this will be 8k, so it'll be 96 squared over 2 times 8, which is 16. So that will give me what k is. So we can calculate what k is first. So I have 96 squared over 16, which gives me 576. Okay, now, once I know what k is, I can make my equation. Because now I can say that um, x squared over 2 is equal to 576 times... 5t minus t squared over 2. Okay, that's my general equation now. 
So I can say my general equation is x squared equals 2 times 576, which is 1,152 times 5t minus t squared over 2. That's now my general equation, including the constant of integration, including the value of k. I've got that equation now. I can use that to solve any problem they want. And they told us here to show that she made 72 pounds in the first hour of the sale. So we know that when t equals 1, we, this should give us 72. So x squared equals 1,152. 1, and this would be 5 times 1, which is 5, minus a half. Because when t equals 1, that's going to be 5 minus 1 over 2. So it's going to be this. So you have 1,152 times 4.5. And this is x squared. So we take this, multiply by 4.5. That gives us 5,184. So x is equal to the square root of 5,184. Which gives us... Take the square root of the answer. 72 exactly what we had to show so we can see that x equals 72 pounds when t equals one hour okay so we have well let me write that a bit neater the pound and the five uh, pound looks a bit weird there so x equals 72 pounds at t equals one hour so we proved what we had to prove for part A. Now I'm going to move on to part B. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my general equation that we formed here onto the other side. Okay, so part B says, the mathematician believes that it is not worth staying at the sale once she's making a sales at a rate of less than £10 per hour. Verify that at three hours and five minutes after the sale, she should have already left. Okay, so when time is three hours and five minutes three hours and five minutes now what we want to need to do because t has to be in terms of hours let's convert this into just hours so that's going to be three hours and five over 12 hours you can say which is you can just write that as um, a mixed number that's 36 plus five uh five over two sorry not five over 12 five over 60 what am i doing 5 over 60 minutes. Okay, so that's going to be 3 hours and 1 over 12 hour. Okay, which gives us 37 over 12 hours. So that's 37 over 12 hours. I'll leave in this exact form. That's better. So it's saying that um, when T equals 37 over 12 hours, we've got to show that the rate of sales is going to be less than 10 we have to show that that happens so basically i need to find what x is when t is 37 over 12 so i can replace this in there and the t equals 37 over 12 into there and then i can find that the show that what the rate is so to find what the rate of sales is when t equals 37 over 12 hours i need to find what the sales are first at 37 over 12 hours which i can find using this equation that we've solved already so we can say x equals the square root of 1152 times 5 times 37 over 12 minus 37 over 12 squared divided by 2. And that should give me um, the sales at time equals 37 over 12, which is 3 hours and 5 minutes. So let's take a look at that one. Let's put this in the calculator. So you have 1152 times 5 times 37 over 12 oops 37 over 12 minus you can say a half 0 0.5 times 37 over 12 squared which have 37 over 12 Close the bracket square, and I think we need to close the whole bracket here. And that gives us 12,284, so we find the square root of that. That gives us 110.833. Okay, so now that's the sales when time is 3 hours and 
um, three hours and five minutes. So now we're going to find the rate of sales, the rate of sales at that time, um, or at when, when the profits reach this much, which is at that time. We can just substitute the values in. We know k is five hundred and seventy-six. Five minus the time, which is thirty-seven over twelve, over x, which is one hundred and ten point eight three three, which is the value we have. So if I now put that in the calculator, I can find the rate of sales, and I'm guessing that should be under 10. So you have 576 times 5 minus 37 over 12, which is the time in hours. Okay, and divide all of that by the answer that we got last, which is 110.833, and that gives us, as we can see, the exit is 9.96. So the, the rate of sales is 9.96. Okay, so therefore, at T equals 3 hours and 5 minutes, the rate of sales is less than 10. Okay, the rate of sales is less than 10. You can say 10 pounds. Less than 10 pounds per hour <clears throat> okay so therefore she should have left therefore she should have left by this time because she said when she's she said when the sales become less than 10 pounds per hour it's not worth staying um, at the sale okay so there's the answer to question three part b and that you know concludes this question um other questions you might want to see from the same paper solomon d when i get around to answering them i will collect them in the playlist that you should see in this area over here other questions from this end of topic worksheet integration two um you can find in the playlist that should appear somewhere over here other questions in general about integration and uh, maybe i'll put a separate playlist for uh, differential equations you'll find in the playlist over here and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching and see you soon